USAID support for legal and policy reforms in the marine small-scale fishery sector of Ghana. One out of 10 Ghanaians get their source of income from the small-scale fishery sector. About 300,000 women and men in over 300 coastal communities in Ghana are employed directly or indirectly in the sector. In 2017, Ghana's fisheries sector contributed 1.2% of the market value of all final goods and services produced in the country. The small pelagic fish made up of sardinella, anchovies and mackerel, known in some local languages as eban, ankorua, samai and amani, are very affordable, highly nutritious and commonly eaten by Ghanaians, especially in coastal communities. The sector has experienced a sharp decline in fish catch over the years. Total landings of the small pelagic fish stocks have been in sharp decline since 2000, reaching its lowest level in 2016 at 19,608 tons. This represents 86% reduction in volume compared to the highest total landing recorded in 1996 of 138,955 tons. Scientists have long predicted a collapse of the small pelagic fish stocks under business-as-usual scenario. The collapse will have devastating consequences on national food security, affecting millions of Ghanaians in over 300 fishing communities along the coast who rely on this important fishery either directly or indirectly for their livelihoods. Many factors have contributed to this sad state of Ghana's fisheries over the years. These factors include weak enforcement of existing regulations, illegal unreported unregulated or IUU fishing, use of small mesh-sized nets, dynamite, chemicals, lights, etc. in fishing, and open access regime leading to overcapacity, that is, too many vessels chasing very few fish. One woman, I'm going to tell you, Papa, I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm and the payara, me and my uncle Puaba. One fan and one farmer. Says that I'm Yaza and my uncle Pa. What's in a mobile? If I do my ass, so in a yard where I have brought Kumaha. In the minty, young young man, as I watch her in Azaba. Young young man, one more sitting at who will Kumaha. I had it. I told me Raddy Bilinisi Bolly in January. If you make it. Mene, Chino or Tai Bia, Taka, Iwawa, Ijake, no bear. Nay, no any mine, eh? De Gana Luni. Nana Shekeba. Okay, me in Sane. If I care in Cassel, the Kalu Sane, Mammy Day. No more twenty years, ne? Me, Mammy Biane, Eto Unupa. Nekelo ne no ni tu mo ne ni sani wo wo chaku ni woke kwele ni lo wo ne ko agbene ni no ye SWD board ne no ni ye no ujuba ni ye no as wole yo ni shalu ni ni kase mo what they hear strut to strut to for meetings ni ni kase mo eto mi ake de ke wo fe ujuba no e. The Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development is responsible for the management of the fisheries and aquaculture sector on behalf of the government. The main tax is the development of policies relating to fisheries and aquaculture development. And this is the ministry does in collaboration with the agency, the Fisheries Commission. Now, over the years, policy development has been informed by decision-making that has been top-down. But this has not occurred well 
for the management of the fisheries sector. Uh, with the support of the Sustainable Fisheries Management Project, the core management policy has been developed and gazetted and is being rolled out. The USAID, through the Ghana Sustainable Fisheries Management Project, SFMP, over the last seven years, has supported the Ministry and the Fisheries Commission to transform the sector and change the narrative from the perspective of fishers. The project has been instrumental in the development of key elements of a comprehensive strategy to help the Ministry and the Commission move the sector towards sustainable management with active involvement of the fishers. The USAID SFMP support for the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development and Fisheries Commission include policy reform, capacity building for scientific data collection and analysis, and development of canoe identification card system. Current trends in global fisheries management suggest that stakeholders actively participate in resource management and decision making. To this end, Yampuano, with the support of USAID Sustainable Fisheries Management Project, supported communities around the Ancobra estuary to develop a comprehensive plan for managing the resources of the estuary. The community-based fisheries management plans concept is transformational because for the first time in Ghana, legally registered associations representing groups or communities of resource users have been granted exclusive right to harvest and manage specified fisheries resources in geographically delineated areas in the country, with the Fisheries Commission providing supervisory functions. Oya number Ben is Agorogo. Then so Oyster Speakers Association member Kamanyo. Cho Chukome, Adoyala Chukome, Botiano, Plur Tatagu. La Koshira Vashia Koshira Va. Mia wana meeting, je vole. Koshira ma. Ika mia dangle le. Aleka ujebe mia wo. Mia afi mia pa aja na noni na mida. La ya ona ma mia wo. Mia pa close season. Close season na generalia. Inye ya wana mia le fifia. Close season na akpana re mia nchi vavi. Ika wana ba aja achi na. Afi mia fo na. Na ya ba aja achi. Afi mia fo. Ana na ba mia po vide. Tamia ga kwe deje sheba aja atonara atrachinchi tamio do atrachi mango nyodi de gbama ika woni ba aja tonara un aye tomo la avion ha o jinara tomo asunagbo la ya o close is ne o ma asepo doro le mi ashi ika mi wona na nya ba o mi mi o close is na amara ka mo pomo o yi avai afoja o Nanya ba amara yi ba foja fi ba adala saji ka asa a a a woni papli aya we nya doro yo ka alemia shi mi wona with funding from the sustainable fisheries management project friends of the nation was able to support communities around the river pra estuary and its associated wetland to develop a community based fisheries management plan with focus on black chain tilapia. The canoe identification card, which the SFMP supported the Fisheries Commission to implement, is a very good thing. One of the best things ever that has happened to the industry because we can now move from open access of our canoes to a more regulated access that will help sustain uh, the resource. We're also grateful for the other program labeled the F2F, that's the Fisher to Fisher, where there's a proper collaboration amongst fishers, which also is evident by the fact that we're able to collaborate and come to a common consensus to, for the first time, be able to have uh, a close season in this country. Creating the enabling policy environment is extremely important for sustainable fisheries management. Policy informs the duration of management and the decision-making processes that support the attainment of stipulated goals and objectives. The USAID, Canal Sustainable Fisheries Management Project, 
since its inception in October 2014, has been supporting the Ministry and the Fisheries Commission to improve the regulatory and policy environment towards the achievement of sustainable fisheries management in Ghana. Ghana has valuable fisheries resources. Robust legislations provide the framework for sustainable management and make it possible for the fisheries sector to support the government's development agenda and facilitate implementation of Ghana's international commitments and obligations. Notwithstanding, effective implementation of existing or any new policies and legislation is the key to achieving desired results, leading to improvements in the socio-economic condition of fishes.